Well, there are noticeable changes happening outside Riverside Elementary School in Brainerd. Construction is well underway and school officials say they're on track to have their expansion project done by next school year. And as our Scott Sheehan tells us, new classrooms won't be the only change happening at Riverside. Rain or shine. Construction will continue at Riverside Elementary School in Brainerd to be ready for the first day of classes this fall. Riverside will be adding seven new classrooms to their school to ease the growing capacity in the Brainerd School District. We're just really excited to see how this is going to really help set the stage for some long-term both facility needs as well as addressing the short-term issues that we've faced and identified earlier this fall. The school board decided the best way to free up extra space around the district is to house all the district special education programs at Riverside. We're creating really across the entire district some freed up space so that it won't have as many students but it'll have the opportunity to create spaces and that's exactly what we need. The district will also remodel their staffing to make the transition easier for students with special needs and to allow for a better sense of familiarity during next year's changes. The students like routine and they like to have an established understanding of their space and the routine that they're going to be functioning in. What we're planning on is a shift with our principals so there'll be familiarity with the Garfield Elementary principal who has a very strong and deep background with special education, special education programming will be placed over at the Riverside School. So that'll create that sense of familiarity first and foremost with leadership in the building. The changes will also allow the district more flexibility when planning to add more kindergarten classes. In Brainerd, Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. Brainerd Schools will start their 2015-2016 school year after Labor Day. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.